if I know somebody, I know somebody yeah. that's gonna be like, I, I ain't gotta be an expert. Fresh, not only do I have my white patch, I don't even know if I can You have to do it even when you're tired, because this shows when you're with it. Lights out, I'm your favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, that's the layers. Add it up, plus signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the be later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit off. They were showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer. I'm your biggest bit up, meet me in the middle. I just don't wanna settle under these lucid dreams. I'm not just a visionary, it's all making sense. Feeling my own inner shot. Just being honest, there's no difference. I'm all just okay. <clears throat> hey y'all, welcome to the vlog. My name is Shaquilla. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back. Over here we do life in Christ. And whatever is going on at the moment, um, today is July the 10th, Wednesday. We are <clears throat> headed to the store. I want to sell stuff today, but it's still, it's so hot that I can't, um, cut the stove on in my shop right now, though. It'll run me up out of there. I bought that unit, but I haven't, I still ain't letting nobody put it up yet. Because I kind of really, my friend said he can do it, but I have to hire an electrician to come and put it up and then pay him and the person that's coming with him to help him. But I just want to find one person to do everything. So, yeah. <clears throat> but I'm headed to the store. I forgot what I'm going up here for. <laughs> I don't know. Them little dogs here. But yeah, I don't know. I just want to come introduce the vlog. Say, hey, I'll see you guys later. Come on out here and hit me. The police. Yeah, I'm in my shop. I've got some cakes I need to bake, but. So I just won't be, it's too hot out here for me to turn the stove on. And the sun, sun and like it is. So it's not as hot right now, but I'm gonna get stuff. I've been wanting to um, spray up this area cause it's ridiculous. So until it cool off in here, I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna be up all night anyway. Cause who didn't get up till six o'clock? And I gotta have breakfast and everything, like it's three and like it's eight in the morning. But yeah, I'm um about to straighten it up. And I will see y'all later. Okay, they said through many trials and tribulations, we must answer the king.
So, I hope y'all can see me. How do I? Oh, well, it's already on 100%. <clears throat> but I was going to turn it up. But I just wanted to come to y'all, talk to y'all. While I'm baking some cake. So, I'm going to be up all night. But I'm going to be up all night anyway. Because I slept all day. I went working night shift. It's not for the week. Because I went to, I woke up yesterday late and I went to bed at like six o'clock this morning and then went back up again to like after four o'clock this evening it is currently Thursday July the 11th so welcome to today's vlog <laughs> but yeah um all I gotta show y'all I cleaned out my shop and y'all after doing it I felt so graceful and so peaceful and I don't know if I'm emotional because my cycle coming on but it, like I just want to like I was in I was just in there after I put the case in the stove, and it's like, God, can't, like I felt God's presence, and it's like, now I just want to cry. <laughs> but I got a couple of things I want to talk to y'all about. So, two, what uh, I think the guilt of me cleaning up my shop came from, because, like, you know, we asked God for stuff, and, like, I know God gave me the talent with making my cakes and doing all that stuff. But, you know, along the time, along the way, with stewarding what God has given us, we can become ungrateful. Or feel like we got it on our own. And I don't, yeah, and I don't know why my voice sound like that. It been weird all day. Like, well, it sound weird to me. It might not sound weird to y'all. But I sound weird to myself. And my wind is short again. So, if you see me breathing funny or, like, talking weird, that's what it is. It do this from time to time. But, yeah, um, like, we ask God for stuff. And, like, we want more and we want better, but how are you stewarding what he has already given you? You're asking for more clients and to grow, or you're asking him for a new home, a new car, or, like, a career change. But how are you stewarding the position he already has you in? Are you taking advantage? Are you letting it fall by the wayside? Are you complaining about it because it's not the next new thing? Are you you asking God for marriage, but the person you're with now, you're treating them wrong? You're not being considerate of their feelings. You're only thinking about self. Like, how are you stewarding what you already have when you're asking God for more? Because how is he going to give you what you're asking for if what you already have, you're not stewarding it right? And you're being ungrateful. And, you know, you're not going about it the right way. He's not going to give you more. You have to be grateful for what you have and work with what you have and be thankful. Because think about it. What you have now, you didn't have before you got it. So we have to be mindful of how we steward what God has given us and how we appreciate what we have even though we want more because God wants to have the best things he wants to have a nice life but we have to be thankful of the places he's taken us first we have to be great stewards of it and um the second thing I'm not going to talk about yet um well should I talk about it I don't know what to think about it, but okay, so the third thing, aside of me not even talking about the second thing, is falling short. So I think I talked about it in the vlog how, I don't even think I told y'all, but I've been going through it because I feel like I've been falling short a lot lately with when it comes to reading my word and like, you know, just being more present in the Lord and in his works and it really took a toll on me. And I didn't talk about it to anybody, but it was like at a point where I was like, okay, I can't keep it to myself no more. So I talked about it to my Bible study group. I haven't been doing the work for the road. And I've been using the excuse that I was tired and that I had a lot going on and I just didn't feel like it. When if God God never took a break from doing what he had to do for me, he never he 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 never said, Well, I'm tired, so I'm not gonna work on her blessings today. 
or helping her out today. So I feel like, and like the girl, like my friend TK told me, she was like, you have to do it even when you're tired because that shows when you're willing. And I'm like, oh. But I'm glad that God is graceful. And even in the midst of me falling short, like I still read my word, but it wasn't like my dog was just. It wasn't the fact that um, even in the midst of, I mean, I was, it's not like I wasn't reading my word, but I read my Bible study every night that we supposed to read, but I fell short on my routine and it's like, I wasn't doing, I haven't done, we started doing, um, a dead scripture. Like I got this calendar off TikTok and I, <clears throat> and I started doing, um, a verse every day on top of doing my you know, Bible study reading, and I haven't been doing none of that. I have, I normally listen to a sermon a day or even a podcast. I haven't done that, been doing that. I haven't been doing my daily verse. I only been doing the Bible study reading, which is we in Exodus. Now we did chapter four tonight, and it's it it makes you feel bad because it feel like you're. I mean, you are falling short of doing what you're supposed to do for the Lord, but. It's great, good that he's forgiven. And even in the midst of my falling short, he has showed me so much stuff that I need to look 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 at. He has opened my eyes to a lot of situations that I should no longer be a part of. And that's the hard part. You know, like when you're in, in faith and you're walking with faith and you're associated with people who aren't exactly in your in what well, they say they're in the faith, but y'all are on different paths right now. And, you know, you try to be understanding, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. So, I don't know. <laughs> but, it's just been a lot going on lately. And, that's why, and then I really noticed it too, like with a couple of vlogs lately that I upload. Like, I haven't said anything about the word. It's just been me doing stuff. And my channel is to show living with God and all that. But I, at the same time, I'm showing, I'm here to show my journey and show, like, it happens sometimes. But when it does happen, we just have to pick back up because God knows that we're not perfect. We just have to pick back up like we never stopped or left off and, you know, continue doing his work. So, yeah, that's my little rant for t this morning, actually. Um, I don't want to be more intentional with living for God. And I think it's good to show my journey because, like, somebody else might be going through the same thing I'm going through right now with, like, feeling like they're falling short. But we have to forgive ourselves. God has forgiven us. And we just have to get back on that thing. So I got to start, and I got to start by listening to my sermons when I get up, you know, read my daily verses and doing all this stuff and just get back on track. That's the thing. When we fall short is whether we get back on track or keep on falling. Ask God for his forgiveness. Repent. And, you know, keep going. So, yeah. I just want to tell y'all that. I don't know if I'm coming back tonight. Because I'm finna. It's some stuff I want to write down at the Bible. And, oh, another thing. I've been talking for eight minutes. Another thing. Like, <laughs> they, they I pray for everything. But I never pray for, like, you know, I do have... The desires to get married, start a family, and all that stuff. But that's one thing. I pray for everything, but I never pray for that. So, that's something I'm going to start adding to my prayers and my talks with God. So, if you're seeking the same thing and you're like me, you're not asking God about it or praying for it or praying for them, even though you don't know who they are, praying for your kids, even though you know you can't get pregnant right now because you ain't married. So... We have to pray for those things. We pray for futures. We pray for houses. We pray for careers that we aren't even in yet. So why not pray for that too? And that was brought to my attention today after watching the podcast. Like, we have to pray for those things. And when we pray for anything, just ask God for the clarity to when he gives you your answer that you will know. Because the enemy can try to give you what you want too. And try to model your thoughts. But make sure you pray and tell God let you know that it's from him and not from anything else. So, yeah, I'm about to write some stuff down while these cakes are baking. I got one layer in the oven for both, and then I only got to bake two layers for each one. And I'll be done for the night 
two in the morning. Even though I'd be up to probably six o'clock looking crazy. But yeah, I don't want to talk too long because I'm in nine minutes and 30 seconds. So I'll see y'all later, I guess. Hey y'all, welcome to the day's word for the road. Um, today is July the 11th. And today's word for the road is going to be about um, making relationships idols. And it's crazy because we do it oftentimes and don't even realize we're doing it. But I think, um, you know, we pray to God because, you know, everybody wants that person that they can have. Everybody wants to be with their special person or have their own person. But at the same time, what makes us make those things idols is because it's stuff that we're lacking within ourselves, and we expect that person to bring all those things. Like, we want this unconditional love. We want this unconditional support. We want this person for ourselves. We want them to feel all these voids we have. And if we find somebody that we feel like does that, then as soon as they do something that's going to, you know, kind of not go with what you had in your picture in your mind for your relationship or for the person to do or for how to treat you, it's going to leave you distraught because you put this person on such a high pedestal that they're not even supposed to be on too. And I think I fail to realize that when we get in a relationship, we forget that the other person is human just like us. And the thing about it is once we find somebody that we feel like bring us happy or is our happiness or like sometimes I think people make, let a person make them because they've been missing so many things they feel like in their life and they feel like if this person shows three things, three of those things that they can bring to them or give to them, they feel like, okay, yeah, this is my person. I'm going to. I'm going to keep them. They they make me happy. They do this. And nothing is wrong with your person making you happy. But when you put all of your happiness into that person, that's when everything decides to go left. Because we're looking for this person to fill all these voids that only God can give us. And I think that once we realize that, we wouldn't be so disappointed and so hurt and put so much into a person if we find all those things through God first. Because if... If we look for things and people to fill voids all the time, we'll forever be disappointed because yeah, they might be yep, yeah, they might be able to fill it for a certain amount of time, but they're not gonna be able to do it forever because like I said, they're human. All of us fall short. The only person that doesn't fall short is God. And once we put that person a person on a standard or on a pedestal that only God should be on, that's when we make them our idols and things go left and you you begin to be that crazy person because you let this person make so much of you that you can't live without them, you can't be without them. Like, you only supposed to be that way with God. You only supposed to not be able to go without Him. He's supposed to be the only person that can feel those voids because honestly, if He's the only person that can feel those voids and feel them forever. Everything we feel like we missing, God has it. And all we have to do is give him is give him the chance to give. We get these we give people chance after chance to do things for us and be certain things for us, but we won't give God the time of day. And even if we do follow God, we some of us still fall short and do that too. We ask we pray for God. We had a relationship with God. We pray to God. We ask him for um relationships. And once he gives it to us, we forget about him and put this person above him. You put their relationship above him. You now you no longer have time. Oh, I'm doing this. I ain't got time. I'm doing this with my person. Oh, me and my person doing this. I ain't got time for Bible study tonight. I ain't going to church. I ain't got time to read my word because I'm spending this time with my person. But you had all the time in the world for God before when you were praying for him. And now that God has given you this person, you put them above God and you made them your idol. Because now everything is about them and God is no longer in the picture now that you have it. And we not only do that with people, we do that with things too. Like we ask God for certain jobs and certain call call all kind of stuff and once god give us those things we debunk god and we put those things above him when we went ahead if he kind of gave it to us in the beginning and i think if we can just realize that and know that we're doing it and it's crazy because sometimes we don't even know we're doing it until you really sit down and be like dang so like, i really put all this i put this person before my relationship with god and i'm not supposed to do that but in the in the end all you have to do is ask him for forgiveness and tell him to help you through that but don't keep doing it just because you know he's going to forgive you. But yeah, I think often too many times we make people in relationships our idols. And that's why we see so many people going crazy. Like when a person do one thing 
and it hurt them or either it's it can be something simple and people go crazy and that's because they put this person on this pedestal and made them their idol and they don't expect them to do no wrong they don't expect them to hurt them which i think in relationships and stuff we we don't expect nobody to hurt us but at the end of the day everybody human everybody gonna do something everybody gonna make mistakes and until we realize that and know that you can't you got this person on this pedestal then you won't be so hurt and you won't you know because we're putting them in a place in a position that they shouldn't even be in man falls short every day so what make you think that they're gonna be perfect just because they with you just because you and so you probably picked them god probably didn't even send them to you so yeah i think we just have to be mindful about when we get in a relationship not to make that relationship our eye we put it over everything we put that relationship over family friends god like and we ain't even married y'all ain't even married yet and, and I mean, half of the time we be doing stuff too quick anyway. Like you doing marriage stuff and you just now met this person and you, you courting, you dating. You're not even supposed to be doing half of the stuff you're doing for them anyway. So yeah, just be mindful that when God do give you your relationship, that you don't put it above him. And if you're already in a relationship, sit and think and ask yourself. Like, am I putting this person before God? Um, so yeah. So that's the word for today. Do not remake do not make your relationship your idol. Good morning guys. So I just got off work. I'm headed to the gym. I ain't been to the gym in probably almost a month. I don't see how y'all be wearing these BBL Jack, whatever they call. They feel like I'm gonna choke out. Jesus. Whew. And I got my waist trainer on. I ain't I ain't with my waist trainer in a month of Sundays, so I feel like I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> I, I read this. Granddad can't see you driving it. But yeah, um, what else am I to say? Um, headed to the gym. My car probably don't even work because we're supposed to pay once a month. I don't think I paid that much. I don't know. But somebody here, hopefully, they let me. Oh, yeah. We're about to do arms today. They need to be done. What are we trying to get my why my bra sticking me in my side? And y'all, I don't know what to show y'all because I'm back at work. Y'all know I can't. Who in the car? Who in the car? I can't film at work. So. I don't know, but yeah, I'll see y'all at the end. So we completed on day. I got there like seven, seven ten, seven fifteen, and it's seven fifty three. It was a quick in and out. I ain't waste no time. Three sets of everything, but 
I wanted to stop and get gas, but I forgot that I left my bank cards at home. And then I didn't, um, I took my bank card off of my cat, I mean my Apple Pay, so I can't even tap my phone, but I got no gas to go home and come back tonight. And I just fill up when I get home. So yeah, I just wanted to come update y'all on that. I'm trying to see if the water still won't wave. Hand sanitizer. But yeah. I just want to come update y'all on it. Now I'm going home to decorate a cake and make some brownies for tomorrow. And I guess I'm going to let y'all see me do that. Oh, I never did show y'all um, me finishing up the up my shop because my camera went dead. And then I just got into a mode. I was like, I'm going to get it done. I didn't even think about the camera no more. But this whole vlog is me getting back into my routine, my resetting like with Christ and with what I've been doing for myself and with me I think I told y'all like with me cleaning up my shop this is me showing God appreciation for what he has already given me if I want something bigger and I'm not keeping up what he gave me how he gonna give me something else and then too like I haven't been working out I haven't worked out and so whenever the lab vlog of me working out I probably ain't worked out since then and number two, besides me working out, I haven't been doing my skincare, so my face has started back breaking out. So I'm just now like getting back to my routines with my skincare. Like I'm resetting with everything. Um, and it's crazy. Like it's like I'm starting all the way over, but that's okay too. Uh, we all fall off track sometimes, but it's rather you get back on course or not. And that's what I'm doing. I'm hopping back on course. I usually use for excuse, like I'm not going to the gym to Kiara and one today, but if she don't never go, then I'll never go, so I'm going, but I went by myself today. You know, the lady, she was like, your sidekick ain't with you? No, I'm here by myself. I used to work out by myself all the time when I lost weight the first time, so what's the difference now? But yeah, we headed home. Um, I got to decorate this cake and make these brownies. I'm going to start on the brownies first since I got to make... Um, I gotta look at the messages and see how many people they gonna have. It's for a class reunion. So I gotta see how many people gonna be at the class reunion. But yeah, that's all really y'all. I just wanted to come inform y'all and say hey. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I get home. Cause I'm just blabbering right now.
I know you like the way I pop out. Let's go hit Lennox. Another week, another knockout. A different city. My partner with a 7 4 now. He think he win me. But I'ma ride this Chevy Mally until it's empty. And Pastor, don't take dirty money. I like you filthy. She my Achilles. I'm out for Millie's, not just for memories. Been on a mission that I mentioned it before. I can't be slipping till I'm reaping what I sow. Can you meet me where I'm at before I hit the top? How many years I put in? Trying to make it pop. I had a purpose for they had opinions, but what hurts is when they close and know the most will speak on you the worst. I reminisce like every day, cause I miss what it was. Try not to get caught in my memory, you're stuck in the mud. I used to try that out, but look, I kept me a buzz. Binging and faded to that same song, missing love. No motivation, not my eyes to be back on the prize. Can't go back where I was in my mind, cause it don't bring no shine. I pop out time to time to show face and get my. Let's go hit Lennox, another week, another knockout, a different city, my partner with a 7 four now, he think he win me, but I'ma ride this Chevy Mally until it's empty, and pastor don't take dirty money, I like it filthy, she my Achilles, I'm out for Millie's, not just for memories, been on a mission that I mentioned it before, I can't be slipping till I'm reaping what I saw, keeping my review mirror empty when I'm riding out, cause ain't never risking this, how I'ma break bread with them, but my pockets down in my head ain't Strong and I let them breathe too long. Never know who needs you. Reaping what I give and see too. How I'm just seeing light when it's been years. Don't make no sense to me sometimes, but time and all that is. Perfected patience, tame my ego when I kept the pedo. This poetry is still my passion. Shout my Dio. I had the vision way back when we smoked out the gazebo. That I would make my step in history just like all my heroes. It's way more glory in the story when you come from zero. Most sacrifices still the price because I know nothing. I know you like the way I pop out. Let's go hit Lennox. Another week, another knockout. A different city. My partner with a 7 4 now. You think you win me, but I'ma ride this Chevy Mally until it's sent me. And Pastor don't take dirty money. I like you filthy. She my Achilles. I'm out for Millie's, not just for memories. Been on a mission that I mentioned it before. I can't be slipping till I'm reaping what I sow. Good evening, guys. It is July. It's July the 12th. I'm headed to work. Um, what else? I don't know. Oh, y'all seen me make the cake and stuff today. I ain't had time to let y'all get ready with me today because I just been slow poking myself. So, yeah. I need to order me some new um, Bible study stuff, like uh, pins and all that kind of stuff. And I need to keep it organized and separate from all my other stuff. But I fail to do so every time. I just wanted to come say hey. See what's up with you guys. The skin is looking good even though I've been neglecting it. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to come say hey, introduce today. Um, what else? I don't know. Just chit chat with y'all for a minute. I feel much better today about everything. So yeah, that's a good thing. Um, I don't know. It's like I could feel I feel him comforting me, telling me it's okay. You got you get back on track. I still love you, which is crazy because like this like the second time I felt that when I because I remember I was um I remember I was fasting one time and I failed to fast and I was so disappointed in myself. And it's like I just heard him um, plain as day tell me. It's like it's like I heard him plain as day say, "I forgive you." And when that happened, it was like, well, "Who just said it?" <laughs> Even though I know who had said it, but yeah, this life is amazing. They say you can be ordinary. What is it? you can live ordinary, or you can live through God? And I choose to live through God. Cause this be some miraculous stuff happening over this way. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, welcome to today's word for the road. And today's word for the road is about the fruits of the spirit. So 
it's crazy because I always would sit and I would think, I'd be like, I never really sat and thought about the fruits of the spirit. And it, it was last night and I, I don't even remember what made it come up in my mind. Like some just kept saying the fruits of the spirit, fruits of the spirit. So I went in my Bible. It's in Galatians. I want to say Galatians 5. Yeah, Galatians 5 and 25, Galatians 5, 22 through 23 is where it talks about the fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And when I read the fruits of the Spirit, I was like, dang, I don't have all of those. Because I'm not patient. Um, I'm not gentle. And I can't, I use the excuse of not being gentle as I'm just straightforward or like I'm just gonna tell it like it is. But in in the in, in the sense and in the same way, I can still be gentle and be straightforward and tell the truth and not have to you know alter my thoughts or anything or alter the situation or alter the truth. I still can be gentle in that. I don't have to be so stern if that makes because you can't be stern with everybody, you know. And then also self control. I say my self control is getting better. Cause like I don't, and self control could be anything. It can be with spending money. It can be with overeating. It can be with letting stuff get you out of character. And I'm I'm working on it. So out of the eight fruits of the spirit, I'm lacking two and a half. And I was like, wait a minute. In the word in in Galatians five and twenty five, it says, if we live by the spirit, let us keep in step with the spirit. And to keep in step with the spirit, we need to have the fruits of the spirit. So if we lack in any of these things, we're not in step with the spirit. We're not living with the spirit. God left the spirit here with us in place of him until we meet with him again. So if we don't have these fruits, then what are we doing? So I want y'all to do this. I want y'all to write down the fruits of the spirit and write down that verse. And I wrote also, I like, do I lack any other fruits? And I wrote yes or no. And then I wrote down, if so, what fruits do I lack? And I wrote down the fruits that I feel like I lack. And then I wrote a prayer and how I was going to gain those fruits and work on those fruits. And I think I, th I think that a lot of times we don't realize it, that the stuff that we feel like is just a trait of us is things that we need to be in the spirit. Because I ain't been patient in forever. It's getting better. But it ain't been for it ain't it ain't been at its best. So I I need y'all to read the fruits of the spirit, pray about the fruits of the spirit, and if you lacking any of these fruits, then we need we need to work together to gain these fruits. Like we can't be walking around here saying we are the spirit and we ain't patient with people. We don't love people. We bring everything but joy to people in certain situations. We're not kind. We ain't faithful. So you can't be in a relationship with somebody and saying you are the spirit, but you ain't faithful to them. You can't be saying you are the spirit, but you're not faithful to God. You can't be of the spirit and you walk around here mean to everybody. You have to be kind. So yeah, think about the fruits of the spirit. This one is kind of short. And I just want us to focus on this for today, the fruits of the spirit. Today is July the what? The 12th. It's Friday. So yeah, be be mindful of the fruits. And it's crazy how like I've been reading my Bible for so long and I never really dove into the fruits of the spirit until last night. So yeah. Don't be like me. Read your fruits of the spirit. Get in tune with the spirit and work on the things of the spirit that you don't have. And y'all have a blessed day and it's today's word for the road.
July the 13th. It's the last day of today. Mom, um, I'm headed to work. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I thought my soccer came with today, today the 13th. I thought it was gonna do me good because I hadn't been being bad, but y'all, they sleep. It didn't hit me. I'm so tired. I hate my cycle make me feel like real tired like this, but I'm headed to the store because if I don't get it now before I go to work, I forget. I need some um, the the cotton rounds. I need some bathroom spray because when my sock come on, I'll be blowing it up. <laughs> so I got to get some um, bathroom spray. Uh, what else I said I had to get? Oh, and I need deodorant. Cause I probably got two more sprays of deodorant, so I'm gonna get that. Then I'll be heading where I made a um sandwich to take with me to eat going down the road. Cause y'all, I'm starving. I made one for work too, and I made one to uh, take to work. Cause I be like starving, like real deal. Man, I ate so much yesterday. Was what Thursday? No, yesterday. Yeah, I ate so much. Thursday, it don't make no sense, but I already knew what it was, but, yeah, and that bread I use, I like that bread, it's keto bread, I get it from Aldi, I bought most of my groceries from Aldi, this summer. so, yeah, just the FYI, if you want some low calorie bread, cause I want two slices is only 75 calories, no, 70 calories, and that's good, so, yeah, I'm about to run in family dollar to get this stuff, but I'm gonna take y'all in there with me. some cinnamon rolls or something. If I had time, I had to stop in Greensburg. Alright y'all, so I'm just going to end the vlog here so I can go ahead and finish editing it sometime tonight so I can get it uploaded for you guys. Uh, I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel and becoming a part of the CL gang. If you're not a part of the CL fam, I need you to go hit the subscribe button right now. So yeah, I hope everybody be blessed. And just know that God is forgiving. We are all human. We all make mistakes. If we fall short, pick back up, ask God for forgiveness, and keep going. Get back on track. You know, do what God has had for you to do. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I got something coming for y'all. So, I don't know if I'm announcing in the next vlog. But I probably wait because I want to have the stuff in hand. So, I'm going to wait until probably the vlog that's going to go up. Um, 24th. The vlog that goes up on the 24th. I'm going to probably announce it in that one. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next vlog.